What's up my essential units? It's the Central Man here, so this is a brand new series on this channel called Wrestlers of the Decade Award. So this is a per one video per day series. I do like categories or wrestlers from each year from this decade known as the 2010s. So if your favorite wrestler is not mentioned on my category list, I'm sorry. I might do a mention video in the time being after I do all or nine decades of this series so anyway um, since this is episode one so we're gonna start with the first year of this decade known as 2010 so wrestler wrestlers of the year of 2010 this is my fault you can fault of your favorite wrestler from your favorite year or each year from uh, from the comment section, just write down in the comment section below for your favorite wrestler. Anyway, um, so the nominees for Wrestler of the Year of 2010 are John Cena, Edge, CM Punk, uh, The Miz, and AJ Styles. So don't worry, guys, it won't be John Cena winning this award. I put him in fifth place. Yeah, Cena, you know, he won the WWE title twice, you know, he won it at the Elimination Chamber. Yeah, he lost it in a matter of seconds to Batista. That really free pay per -view feud with Batista, you know, he regained the title at um, WrestleMania 26. Um, yeah, he lost it at uh, Fatal 4-Way. Uh, the downfall, I think, has to be like Cena buried the Nexus at SummerSlam. So yeah, Cena is 5th place in my list. 4th place, I'm going to go with Edge. Yeah, Edge started the year off. He came back in uh, the start of 2010. He came back the, at the Royal Rumble and went on to win that year's Royal Rumble. He went on to face Chris Jericho for the world title at uh, WrestleMania 26. Damn saying he lost the uh, title, uh, didn't win the title. At that year's WrestleMania, he kind of feud with Randy Orton, um, and then the end of the year, he kind of had a feud with Kane for the world title over Paul Bearer, kidnapping Paul Bearer. Like some of this, it was like good, but others, I think it was a bit cheesy and cartoonish in my opinion. So, and yeah, Edge went on to win the world title at the end of 2010. So Edge is going to be fourth. Third place, I'm um, have to go with CM Punk. I think Punk had a great, yeah, a good 2010, but I think 2009 was his great year. You know, you know, the feud with Jeff Hardy, uh, and then the formation of the Strange Society. Yeah, I like the Strange Society, you know. Yeah, he had a great feud with Rey Mysterio, you know, you know, when CM Punk is singing to Rey Mysterio's uh, daughter, Elena. Um, yeah, Dan Shin, they broke up the Strange Society. Um, yeah, he had a crappy feud with the Big Show, and then the end of 2010, he was a color, really, I think he was part of the Raw announced team, and he kind of started the feud with John Cena the late, at the end of 2010, continued their feud in 2011. AJ Styles is second place. This, uh, this is a only a uh, nominee from TNA. Yeah. I think AJ had a great 2010, you know, he started the year as the world champion. I hate the whole stuff becoming the new Ric Flair. I think it's 100% Vince Russo's behind this. But yeah, he did put on some great matches in that year, uh, in that year you know, to Samoa Joe, uh, Pope, uh, Kurt Angle, Tommy Dreamer. You know, he went on to win the TV title the, the, the second half of 2010, but, you know, him as a heel was... The worst decision, worst decision for TNA, but I'm going to put in number two. He's second place, but first place for me, for my vote, for wrestler of the year of 2010, has to be The Miz, man. You know, he started the year as the reigning defending US champion. Yeah, he won the tag team belt from uh, DX. He was the tag team champion with The Big Show. That was forgettable, but he kind of winning and losing the US title to R-Truth. And to, uh, he didn't really lo regain it from Bret Hart. He lost it to Bret Hart. He regained the US title, but lost it to Daniel Bryan in September. In the summer, he won the Raw 
Money in the Bank uh, briefcase at the first ever Money in the Bank pay-per-view. At the end of 2010, the, fir the, the first Raw after Survivor Series, he cashed in his Money in the Bank briefcase, defeated Randy Orton, and become the WWE Champion, his first and only WWE Champion Championship in his career. So, from, yeah, I think Miz had a great 2010. He pissed off this uh, Miz girl in the um, awards. You know, yeah, there was a picture with the girl not so happy when Miz won the WWE title. Yeah, I think Mike Mizanin, the Miz, I think he had a great 2010, man. For me, the, uh, Mike, the Miz, Mizanin is got to be wrestler of the year of 2010. So that's my vote on it. So, you know. I'll leave you my uh, nominee list on the description below, and you can vote on the uh, in the comment section below. So hope you like it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. So, smash the like button, and subscribe to the Central Man Network on YouTube. This is the Central Man officially signing out.